Eric Tov, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. You know, recently I got quite a bit of criticism over uh, a news uh, broadcast that we made about Russia and their troops uh, mounting on the European border. And uh, some people said it was an old photo. And of course, we do realize that there are file photos that, that are that are published quite often because not everyone always has plenty of photos on hand in order to make uh, to make the case. Uh, but for those critics, though, that do not believe that Russia is definitely mounting up troops on their western border, may want to rethink this altogether. It says in TASS, which is a Russian news agency, uh, says large troop contingent, contingents being redeployed to Russia's western regions. Uh, this is an article that came out uh, today on August the 13th at, two, at almost 3 p.m. It says Russia's 20th Combined Army in the Western Military District will be complemented with more units and troops from, uh, from other military districts. Uh, Russia's Defense Ministry is reinforcing the 20th Combined Army in Western Military District as a source at the General Staff told TASS news agency. The army being reformatted will be complemented with more units and troops from other military districts. Uh, the general staff of the Western Military District's commands have been working tightly on determining and specifying the personnel and hardware of the 20th Combined Army, the source said. In particular, questions are being decided on complementing the army with units uh, from other military districts and forming more mechanized infantry, armor, uh, armor, artillery, missile, reconnaissance, and other brigades, uh, he said. The amount of work to be accomplished is vast indeed, he said, adding that the 20th Army should be recreated in a new by December the 1st. Uh, the Army's command center is based on the premises of the former 1st Command of the Air Force and Air Defense, the current 6th Air Force and Air Defense Army before it was moved to St. Petersburg. Earlier, a source at the General Staff told TASS that the current uh, 20th Army would, in fact, be formed anew because most of its units were being transferred to a newly created 1st Tank Army at, uh, at the end of July of the, uh, of the 20th Army, incorporated uh, the 9th Tank Brigade from uh, Nizani Novogorod. Nov in Western military districts created in 2010 of the bases of the Moscow and Leningrad military districts and the Northern and Baltic fleets with headquarters of Saint in St. Petersburg. Now you can read more of the article here on uh, Israeli News Live on our Facebook page. Uh, the concern that we're looking at right here is that... Uh, Russia, no doubt, every time that they have done something like this is in response to the activities that are going on from NATO and their own allies. And of course, as we have reported many times before, you're finding out things long after it already happens uh, as far as when the U.S. speaks about doing things. Uh, they've already done it. Uh, the United States had already put in troops, tanks, and everything else you can imagine on the eastern, uh, the former Soviet states there that border Russia, Lithuania, Poland, uh, and as well in Ukraine, and they are training troops there. Uh, there's another article that came out just recently that spoke about there were 8,000 uh, policemen that defected from uh, Kiev that went to uh, Donbass region to, to help the fighters in that fight there. That was kind of an interesting uh, thought there. I forget exactly where that particular news was, but let me let me bring to your uh, some some more attention on things that are going on militarily with Russia. Uh, and also the U.S., uh, something that they had spoken about recently, said Russia has uh, tested a state-of-the-art ground-launched uh, uh, cruise missile at ranges capable of threatening most of the European continent and U.S. allies in Northeast Asia, namely Japan and South Korea, a U.S. Department official claimed on Wednesday. We continue to insist that Russia meet its legal obligations and return to compliance with this treaty, the official said. Now, you have to understand, Russia is being sanctioned without any kind of mercy whatsoever over the Ukrainian crisis, but yet it was the United States that started the crisis in the first place uh, by toppling a perfectly legitimate government, although maybe not a perfect government. It certainly had its own issues, and uh, but uh, the Vatican wanted that government to come under the control of NATO and, and, and also wanted it under the European Union. So they have toppled the government. They have caused a civil war in the country 
And now Russia is faced with the idea whether or not they're going to support not only the Crimea, which they brought back into the motherland, but as well, are they going to support the Russian-speaking people of eastern Ukraine, which we have seen that Russia, although they claim they have not been in eastern, eastern Ukraine, it seems obvious that Russia has given support to uh, the the. Um, the uh, self-proclaimed Don, uh, Donbass region, the authorities there in Luhansk as well. And uh, so now the U.S., of course, is, is very upset and complaining about the things that Russia is doing with, with these new missiles. But as I point out, Russia is heavily being sanctioned. What, what is in it for Russia? I mean, let's just be honest about this. We have to look at this and ask ourselves the question, uh, what can we expect out of Russia? I and mean, in all sincerity, what do we expect the President uh, Putin to do uh, when his country is being bombarded by the, the United States, NATO, and their allies, and many of the European nations not wanting this to happen? I might remind uh, my American uh, brothers and sisters, the friends that we have there in the United States, because we are Americans ourselves, that... Uh, Europe is most many of the politicians here in Europe have been forced uh, to do the things that are being done to Russia. They didn't want to. Uh, the uh, the, the uh, Chancellor Merkel did not want to go along with this. She wanted to lift the sanctions, did not want to be a part of it. We're seeing also that the French there, uh, uh, even now the, the French people are speaking against the deal that was made with Russia about the aircraft carrier for the helicopters. Uh, wanting to know why was the deal reneged on. Of course, the French prime minister said they were under great pressure of the United States in doing so. So there, there is a lot of uh, uh, um, non-agreement, I should say, among the Europeans uh, as far as these sanctions with Russia because Russia was their business partner. And, uh, and of course, the U.S. is also going according to what Pope Francis says, and Pope Francis says you have to do it a certain way. Yeah, well, if they expect to get the money from the Vatican, they have to obey. It's kind of like what Israel's under right now. Israel, if they do not obey, obey the Vatican and, and uh, prosecute this man that has uh, spoke about burning churches in Israel, then guess what? They're going to withdraw money and support for the Israeli government. Uh, so uh, we may not realize these things go on, but they definitely go on. Someone is pulling the purse strings in uh, the politicians in Israel Otherwise, uh, the, the Vatican would not have so much influence over uh, its judicial system as we're seeing here. Uh, anyway, in another uh, news article I want to bring up to you, Russia's uh, missile forces in uh, Kamakta uh, to hold live firing exercise to hit targets in the Pacific uh, Ocean, that is. Uh, over 300 strong missiles personnel arrived at the Capes uh, Skalaski and uh, Tolsti for the drills. Uh, says uh, this was here also came out of the day. Regiments of the Russian Pacific Fleet Coastal Defense Troops based on the uh, Kamachtaka Peninsula in the Far East were alerted for military drills. Fleet spokesman Captain First Rank uh, Roman and Marktov said on Thursday over 300 strong missile personnel arrived at the Capes, Skalisti and Tolsti uh, for the drills, he said. The exercise will end with firing from uh, Redut and uh, Rubez missile system to hit uh, training targets in the Pacific, the fleet spokesman uh, said. Uh, uh, Russia-China military drills also will be helping to counter new threats and challenges and drills that they are doing. Uh, another article here uh, that this came out a few days ago on TASS, uh, joint military exercise carried out by Russia and China will help to confront new international threats and challenges. Russia's foreign ministry, Sergei Lavrov, said in an interview with Channel News Asia on Wednesday. Uh, he said challenges were numerous, citing uh, piracy smuggling, including smuggling of potential dangerous materials, maybe materials related to weapons and mass destruction. So it is about piracy and it's about non-proliferation, just the same purpose as we are being engaged together with NATO, together with China in the European Union and the Gulf of uh, uh, Guana. In the Gulf of Aden and uh, Somalia piracy coalition, the top diplomat said. Uh, clearly, though, the United States is very much worried about these different exercises that Russia has been doing, not only with China. Uh, recently, as we just reported yesterday with Iran, they are there also. All the states that are enemies to the United States and to uh, many of uh, NATO's uh, own uh, of the NATO coalition. So 
Uh, therefore, there is reason for concern and, uh, and a lot of drills, a lot of artillery being fired in and around Russia. But the biggest, as I said, the biggest concerning news that we have is the large troop contingent being redeployed to Russia's western region. This is reported directly from TASS, Russian news agency there. Uh, so it does carry a lot of weight and a lot of concern. Is, there is Russia preparing for a war? Are they expecting an invasion of their own country? Or are they going to take and do something about Ukraine? It's hard to say. We'll have to watch and see what happens. We'll keep our eyes open for you as well. Many of you may not be aware of these things happening in the United States, uh, but we will be bringing that out as well. Also, one bit of news I'd like to bring up here at the very last moment there. There was a sister that, um, a, a Christian sister, I, uh, I believe her name is Linda. I forget her last name there. We had shared a video on our Israeli News Live site uh, on Facebook that was speaking about a, a contact information from someone from Homeland Security, uh, one of her friends that follows her little news ministry that she has there, and had spoken about how her father had said that, uh, who worked for Homeland Security, had a high security clearance, claimed that yes, that uh, Jane Helm was actually set up uh, as a possibility of an asteroid strike that may very well hit uh, near the United States or the, uh, the island of Puerto Rico uh, that, would be, that could be coming in this September. Uh, we kind of stayed away from this particular news ourselves because we saw that where uh, Lindley Oz had made this story very popular, and uh, nothing against Lynn, but uh, she had made the, the story very popular that there would be a, a meteor, an asteroid strike on the Earth, a direct hit. Uh, but then, uh, of course, NASA spoke up and said that they have no uh, information of anything of this sort. They finally came out and made that public. And then this sister here came out and said that uh, one of her listeners sent her a email that, yes, indeed, Homeland Security, her father works for them, high-ranking official, and said that, yes, that they do have one coming in is supposed to strike. Now, I was not going to do this on Israeli News Live here for you because I still do not really have a strong personal opinion one way or the other. I cannot say if this is legitimate or not, but I felt that I, maybe I should share this with you. And the reason being I wanted to do this was because uh, less, less than about 12 hours after we shared it, her video went very very much uh, up to about 17,000 views. And then the next thing we know, her video was gone. It had totally disappeared. Not only her video, her channel as well had disappeared. Uh, this brought more concern to me that perhaps that what she was saying touched nerves uh, and the government shut down her channel. I cannot say for sure uh, one way or the other. I do not want to cause panic either way, but I would say if you have the ability to take a vacation and not be in near coastal cities of the United States uh, come September, I would definitely take a vacation. You know, it's better to be safe than sorry. And uh, again, I, I can't say that this is really so. NASA claims that it's not so, but it's just kind of odd that uh, her channel would just disappear. Now, could she have turned her channel off herself, uh, closed it out? anything's possible. I do realize that anything is possible. Uh, she had been doing her channel, uh, from what I understand, for a couple of years. So I don't think that she would have just up and done that. But, uh, but, it's, but it's just interesting the way things have gone down. And so uh, my one heart's desire, I would say, for friends that we have, we, we love you guys tremendously. You know, do your due, due diligence in looking more into this and uh, uh, just be very prayerful about it. And I know my, my wife herself, she had a very, she's had a couple of dreams here recently that are very serious dreams. And one of the dreams that she saw, and she hasn't, we haven't even made this public as of yet, but uh, in it, there was uh, martial law in the United States. And she could see literally from, from the way the Lord was showing her the dream, they were killing the people. They were people that were trying to hide and flee from the martial law that was going on. They were hunting them down and they were just killing the people. And she could see it as if she was like in another dimension watching it. And she was so fearful. 
And she said there was no reason in the dream to even hide. She said, why hide? Why should I do any of this anyway? Because they'll just find me and kill me anyway. She said they had some type of equipment that they could see through and they could see where the people were. And I know that there's heat sinking type of uh, equipment the military has. And yes, they can see you behind a wall. And uh, she said they were just killing the people and laughing about it. Uh, she said suddenly... There was a huge angel came up behind her with six wings on. He wrapped his wings around her and told her, fear not, they will not be able to see you. She said the next thing she knew it was like being in a tube of light. And she looked up, all she could see was light, white light from her, the wings being wrapped around her. And then when everything was over, the angel was gone and the people were dead, but she was alive. And uh, the second one she had was just recently, right before, uh, right when we, before we came back to, to uh, Europe here, and she saw a massive tidal wave striking America. She said, I've never seen anything like it. She has been troubled over this dream for weeks now. And uh, she begged her sister to move uh, from Florida, didn't say why, but she asked her, please move, get out of Florida. And... Um, she said the wave was so high that it towered over the tall buildings in South Florida, the, 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 the condos that are 20, 30 stories high. She said it towered over them like they were just ants. And she said when the wave was about to hit, she said, she, she said I, I was in the dream. Her, the children were in the dream. And she said the Lord spoke to her and said, grab your children tightly and do not fear. I will be with you in the water. And she said, then she came out of the dream, the wave struck. She said, when the wave struck, she said, the buildings fell over and came at her like buses coming forward to her. I want her to tell you that the dreams herself, they're, they're very, very powerful. We were very concerned. We didn't say much about it at the time. We didn't want to cause panic ourselves. But after her dreams, and I know a lot of people have had dreams about tidal waves and stuff, but the, the thing that catches my attention with hers is the Lord in both dreams has spoken to her uh, not to fear. And so it's not just the dream of the way, but it's also the Lord speaking as well. So she she will not make things of these things, and but I think it's important to bring these things out to you, uh, especially in light, with, in light of this information here. There may not be an asteroid going to hit. I, I have no idea. In fact, this one sister that did the video, she said that, uh, the, the lady that sent her the letter made the comment that they have two schools of thought at Homeland Security. One of those is that it'll be a near miss, but it will be so close to the earth it will cause major damage on the earth. And the other one is, is that uh, it'll be a direct hit, in which case it will hit near Puerto Rico. Uh, this is what they're saying. And again, this is in the month of September. And I think she said there was a window of September 23rd to the 28th. Uh, we'll be in Israel during this time uh, at the conference there that Brother Kellen Davison has, has put together. Uh, we trust that we'll be able to meet you there. But uh, I, I just, I, like I said, I don't like to, to cause panic or anything like that, but I do think that maybe we should do a little bit more due diligence prayerfully seeking the Lord to see how the Lord might lead you as well, you and your family, and what you may do as a family uh, as well in, in light of these things here. Uh, anyway, God bless you. We love you. Uh, good evening. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, and sorry that we have to bring these types of news broadcasts to you. We want to think of, of, of better things. But then again, the Bible does say when these things begin to happen, lift up your head for your redemption draweth nigh. And that is something that's very important. If God says lift up your head, we must have our heads down due to being distraught over the things that are happening in the world. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and good evening. Yeah.